Today is day four of Vlogmas. Yesterday's vlog was just... I was working the whole day, so there wasn't that much that I filmed. So, I don't know. I kind of tempted not to post it, but then at the same time, it's my real life. That's what Vlogmas is about. So, I'll think about that. And today, I have really really exciting day i'm gonna get christmas tree i also need to get some decorations since we can have photo shoot tomorrow and it needs to look super cute and <clears throat> and festive also i'm gonna be doing uh, some decorations myself so that will be a lot of fun i will go to work today but just for an hour or two so not much yeah uh, I think my coffee is done brewing, so I'm gonna see after. Before the shower, I applied this Olaplex hair treatment number three on damp hair. Since I colored my hair and we're going light on my hair is severely damaged, so my hairstylist told me to avoid heat and use as many hair masks as possible to restore it and i never knew that it could be so difficult to avoid styling my hair whenever i need to blow dry my hair i can't just let it air dry i have to put it on cold air and that takes a very long time but i do try to style it with hair curlers and i have really big ones that just give a little bit of wave to my hair but still i I just miss that hair style when you you know curl it your hair looks smooth but it's okay I can I just need to hold off for a little longer to get it back in shape before shower I will also be tinting my eyebrows I use this kit but I also heard that um, men's hair dye or beard dye that you'll see at the drugstore actually really good for your eyebrows so yeah I'm just gonna be doing this and, and I like to use the fine tip kind of um, brush all right let's open day four there we go oops little Santa hat before I'll get in the shower, I wanted to share with you my favorite products to use on my hair. First one is Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Deep Conditioner, which is fantastic. I haven't tried anything like this. It's amazing. Then I will also be using this product, L'Oreal Revive Toler Repair. I use this once in a while. And the last thing I'm going to be using for today is this L'Oreal Alive 8 Wonder Water to make your hair um, look shiny and uh, silky. I also like to use this product but I use it rarely and whenever I'm home for a long time I can just apply and walk around with it in my hair for a long time. And I'm ready to go to work. I did my makeup really quickly. Didn't have that much time to spend on it. And my hair is almost dry, so it should my hair should be dry by the time I get <clears throat> to work. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna spend too much time there. Just gonna finish a few things, and then I'm gonna get um, gonna go try to find some Christmas decorations. Hey guys, long time no see. I finished work and I stopped by Dollar Tree, picked up some Christmas decorations, um, which I will show you when I get home. I'm sorry, the lighting is just so bad. Super dark. It's almost six o'clock. Now I'm gonna. I would. I was thinking of going to Hobby Lobby, but since I purchased some ornaments. I'll just wait and see once we'll get our tree tomorrow. Alright, let me show you what I got. 
This, you guys seen yesterday. Um, I got it at 99 cent store. I just put it in the same bag. I purchased this bow. I was hoping for a bigger one because I wanted to put it as a um, tree topper. But I think it will do. I might add some longer pieces as well. Just kept, um, like behind it if I'll find the same material. And I bought candy canes, obviously. A red ribbon. Wait, there's something stuck in there. Oh, who knows? Then two candlesticks. They will go right in here. I have two of those. Um, these are from Schoolhouse Electrics. I used to work there. And I was so in love with these uh, candle holders. I, I bought these. As, uh, these are like DIY um, ornaments purchased four of them. They come in a set of two. So I will paint them in. And, and I, for the photo shoot, I got two mugs like these. They looked really classic, you know, old school kind of mugs. So that'll be good for that. Then I have two rolls of um, gift wrapping paper. And I, I found this really cute ornament. They used to have a lot more ornaments that were so beautiful, but when I went back in, they didn't have them anymore. They were all sold out. And again, I got this paper to put in um, boxes. Tape. Always need it. And these ornaments. I wanted to go for white and I think the accent of gold is gonna look amazing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna paint these in white. I might uh, not do all of them white and do the other ones like cream color. I'm still debating on that. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. And it's ready to go into the oven. I cut some mushrooms, onions, and peppers. A little bit of lemon juice and um, avocado oil. Dinner is ready. So after dinner, I decided to wrap a few presents. They're gonna also be kind of like a backdrop. I just got an idea that for name tags, I will use polyclay and make custom name tags using these steel stamping set that I just got. I'm not really good at using them, but I will attempt to do it. I can't even open it with one hand. Okay, there we go. So they have these letters. Let's see how it goes. Honestly, I'm not a fan of this polyclay. It stinks like plastic and it's so hard to work with, but my mom did find a recipe, super easy one that you can make polyclay yourself. So I'll link that down below. So I just need to cut out the circles. I just remembered that this polyclay smells so bad when it's in the oven, so I'm not gonna do it at night. I will do that tomorrow morning and I will still try out the recipe uh, for homemade polyclay, but it will need to wait till tomorrow. I wrapped a couple of gifts, but it's getting late, so I'll continue tomorrow. <laughs> 